What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to set custom keyboard shortcuts inside of SketchUp. So this can be a huge time saver, especially if there's tools that you use inside of SketchUp that don't naturally or um, out of the box have a keyboard shortcut associated with them. If you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure you check out my free guide on my best SketchUp tips at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna show you how to set a couple different keyboard shortcuts. And so this is a model that I've created and uh, I wanna add a couple different keyboard shortcuts because there's a couple things that I do inside of SketchUp and I lose a fair amount of time going up and clicking on toolbars and things like that when I could just set up a shortcut that'll do it just with a single tap on my keyboard. So to set keyboard shortcuts, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to Window, Preferences, and inside of preferences, you're gonna go down to where this says shortcuts. And so the shortcuts section, what that allows you to do is that allows you to scroll through basically every single function in here. And you'll notice that like extensions in here, the different tools for the loaded extensions are in here, things like that. So you can also set up keyboard shortcuts to load different things like that as well. So like for example, if I wanted to set the box twisting tool in Fredo scale um, to a keyboard shortcut, I could do that. And what's really valuable is this filter box up above. And so in this case, what I want to do is I want to find and add a keyboard shortcut to set my face styles to x-ray mode. And so if you remember, x-ray mode allows you to see through your different faces inside of SketchUp. So it's very helpful for like inferencing and things like that. And so in this case, I want to click on this function and I want to click in this box right here to add a shortcut. And in this case, I just want to set a keyboard shortcut of the X key. So I just want to type in the value X and click the plus button and that will assign the uh, keyboard shortcut of X to turning on x-ray mode. So if I click OK and then I come in here and these are a little bit higher resolution textures so I'm going to change this to shaded but if I come in here and click on this now I type the X key you can see that that's going to allow me to switch back and forth between x-ray mode and not x-ray mode really quickly and so that'll let me to do some things like for example if I look at these objects I haven't actually set them so that they sit on the counter. So you could see how they were going through the counter and you couldn't see that before. So I can really easily see that. I could also do stuff like uh, if I wanted to inference off of this midpoint, I could see through this face and then inference off of that midpoint like onto this face or something like that if I wanted to do that. So that's a really helpful keyboard shortcut. The other keyboard shortcut I wanna set really quick is the paste in place tool. So if I go to window, preferences, and in this case, I wanna type in paste in place. So you can see how that's the second option in here, edit, paste in place. I'm gonna click in this box and I'm gonna type in and hold the keys, control, shift, V. And I'm gonna click okay. And so what that allows me to do is that allows me to cut different objects and then paste them. So like for example, let's say that I had these two objects grouped. You know, we'll just call this countertop items. Well, let's say I wanted to cut and paste these two, these three objects into that group. Well, for right now, if I was to do a control X and then do a control V, what I would have to do is I would have to place these objects again. So I'd have to move them around to get the placement right. Well, I already have the placement right in here. They're sitting right on this counter, which is what I want from them. So I don't want to have to do that. All I want to all I want to do is I want to be able to cut those. I want to double click inside my countertop items and I want to do a control shift V to paste them in place. So when I do a control shift V to paste them in place, you can see how this places them in the same location that they were in before. So I was able to cut and paste them without having to set the location again. And so now those keyboard shortcuts are saved inside of SketchUp and I can use them whenever I want. So I can toggle my x-ray view really quickly and I can also paste objects in place really quickly. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do you have custom keyboard shortcuts? What are some of the ones that you find most helpful? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. 
Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.